Morning, so today is Monday, the day after round three of the Mallory Championships. Um, I always have the Monday off work after going racing, so I, I unload all the van and get everything else put away and organised. It gives me a chance to have a, a down day after a weekend of racing. So uh, yeah, the weather was amazing for yesterday. It was it was warm, but not too too warm. Uh, sun shone all day. Um, it was generally a good day um, from my perspective. Perspective. I went into the event um, with a bit of an unknown still with the the newer bike, which is the orange one. As most of you are aware, I had a problem with that at round two, um, where I had to basically park a truck and get on the black bike which is a proven bike, well proven bike, um, that paid off for it. So I made some alterations between rounds two and three, uh, mainly carburation uh, alterations and a couple of other bits and bobs. Um, went out on the orange bike in qualifying and thought, oh, this feels better. And it was better, a lot better. Whether or not it was actually faster than the black bike, I don't think there's much in it, to be honest, maybe two or three mile an hour top speed, but not much. It's more about how it gets from sort of corner to corner that sort of counts and gearing comes into play, various other factors. Uh, so yeah, went out in race one. I was quite fired up for top three. Um, I think it was his second lap. Going from Edwina's Lake S's to the hairpin, I couldn't go up the gears. There was just nothing. And it, I just couldn't even feel the lever. I thought, shit, what's happened? So I had a glance down. I could see that my gear lever was actually like just flipping around and the rod that attaches to the gear lever had come off completely so the bolt had sheared or the bolt had um, worked its way out or something happened anyway anyway that's my race over there's no way you can continue with the uh, with a situation like that so gets up to the hairpin um hand up i'm pulling off you know from one of the riders and pulls into marshall's area post uh, that was it, my race was over. I was, I was completely, my first thought was points, 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 I'm losing points, losing points here, losing points. I wasn't bothered about my results, I was just losing points because I was going to score nothing in my race. So we get to trip back down to Paddock after the race in the van, because obviously the bike couldn't be ridden back down to the Paddock. So I'm in the back of the van on the bike, back to the Paddock where the parts up. And um, gets it fixed, it took a 20 minute job to fix it. Um, okay, so race two comes around and I'm, all my mind is just finish, finish, finish. You know, you'll be in the top five, finish. And get some points, because I'd missed out on a bag of points in the first race. So yeah, I went out and um, I just hung, hung on in there for a third. Um, played it a little bit safe, if I'm honest. Um, didn't want to make any silly mistakes or anything like that. So yeah, finished third, grabbed a load of points. Came home, um, two good things came of it. Yeah, I got some more points. Uh, the bike was going much better than it was in round two, which is for peace of mind. Now we've got two bikes that are performing well, and they're going well, so all was good. Um, yeah, so uh, I'm, I've actually dropped to third in the championship now from leading it, but there is only six points that are separating the top third to top three in the championship, so there's really not much in it. So there's, it's still all to play for. Um, like I said before, you can't afford a DNF, you can't afford to like slip off, which we all know can happen, but that's the name of the game. So yeah, round three is done. We've got a five week break now, which is nice because we can sort of regroup and um, maybe do a couple of tweaks to the bike to make it a little bit better before we're back at round four at Mallory, which will be, uh, I think it's the first weekend in July or the second weekend, I can't remember. But that one's a two-day event. It's a big weekend match, so we'll be going up on the Friday morning and spending all weekend there. We're really looking forward to that one. We've got quite a lot going on that weekend. There's live bands at night. There's uh, parade laps from past um, machinery and past stars of the sport. Lots going on that weekend, so it could be good. So get yourself down there and... Uh, Come and watch some racing as well as enjoy all the activities that are going on. So anyway, I'll just end this video with a huge thanks to RLT Allen and Jim Dalton and Pat for making this championship happen and for RLT for putting up the uh, awards for the uh, championship every round for the top three of each class. So big up to you guys. Um, so yeah, that's it for now. Um, have a bit of a breather now and then we'll come back with let you know what's happening with uh, 
round four, which will be the two-day event. So thanks for listening. Don't forget to like and subscribe my YouTube channel. Lots of content on there about what goes on behind the scenes and what we go up to at race meetings. Um, following this blog, there will be one going on in the next few days of the, the meeting at Mallory itself, some pictures and things and, and anything like that. So, uh, yeah, thanks for listening.